it's Adobe Max today. And of course, there are updates. So let's take a look at the Illustrator update. And in this video, I'm going to show you the five features that for me are the top five, plus one that you might have not seen, although it already was in the previous version. So let's dive right in. Number one is about image trace. And you might have had the situation that you've got a logo that is white on transparent. So let's place that example. Here we've got it. It's just faintly visible. Let's turn on the transparency grid. There is my logo and then I want to trace it. Let's first crop this a little and then let's go to image trace. Let's go in here and open the advanced options and let's just trace that and you see it's all white. And what we can now do is to get to this here. Let's go to the low color setting. When we have a color setting or grayscale setting, then we can also use transparency. And there it is. We've got our number of colors, which is just one. And then of course you can adjust all the precision and everything else. Let's just expand this here. And there we've got the logo traced. So that was number one. Let's take a look at feature number two, which is also in image trace. And for that, I'm going to place another template and you see there are gradients in it. And when we trace this with the low color setting, for instance, and then you see the gradients all have bending, which does not make them look very nice. We've got some very dirty edges there. And of course, that will be a lot of work to clean up later. So what we can do is set the palette to full tone or use one of these presets that already has full tone, for instance, this one high color, and then we can turn on gradients here. Let's pull this slider up and even higher and you see it caught a lot of those gradients, not all of them, but then we can go on and snap curves to lines because these are all straight lines and then improve this as well to have less work later on when editing that. So that was feature number two. Let's get to number three, which is about gradients as well but not about image trace. And I'm just going to create a shape and then we are going into the swatches. And when you want to create a gradient from existing swatches, then of course, you know, you have to set up the gradient and then assign those swatches. And that is a little tedious. That can get easier. Let's go into the gradient panel. And now what we can do is select a couple of these swatches here by holding down command on the Mac or control on Windows. And then we can drag them right into that strip. And there's the gradient. You can also select that from the menu. So there is the function, it's currently not active because I haven't selected any of those swatches. So that is number three. Let's get to number four. Now you want to have all these different shapes in different colors run along this path. And that is now really simple. You can select them all and then select this objects on path tool. Just click on that path and then they walk along the path. You can adjust that. For instance, set the registration point. You can also rotate them and you can set the density. And once you have done that, you can also move them along that path. 
like so. So that is the great number four that we've all been waiting for. Let's get to number five. And you see, when you want to scale the artboard and the artwork on it all in proportion, then you had a lot of work to do. But that has become easier as well. Let's just go to the artboard tool and you see when you are in artboard editing mode that this, the move or copy artwork with artboard is turned on automatically. And then we have a button just to the right of it, which is turned off by default, which is a good thing. But once you have turned it on, then it also stays turned on. So you have to be careful because now when you drag here, I'm holding down shift while doing so to scale that proportionally. Then you see it scales the artwork. But when you just drag here, then the artwork will be scaled as well. And this artwork here gets scaled proportionally because it's basically just one anchor point. But if you have artwork that are different shapes, then when you just drag slightly, you might not even notice that your artwork gets scaled unproportionally. So you have to take care of this option, but you can now scale the artwork with the artboard. And now let's get to the additional feature that has already been in version 2024, but maybe you have not noticed it yet. In here, we've got a placed image, but you see it's missing in the links panel. Now you need to search for it, but it has a rather long name. And you do not have to memorize that, but you can go into the menu, copy info and copy that name. And then you can enter that information into the search field and then search for that image. So there you have them, my favorite new features in Illustrator 2025. Have fun exploring it.